Hi everyone, this is Evelyn Zimper, Career Advisor at Wright State Lake Campus, and you are watching the Career Perspectives podcast, and we are so lucky today because we have Emma Morris from iScribe Hello. MD, and you came all the way from Toledo for us, right? I did, yes. Um, I also was over at TriStar earlier today, but thank you so much for having me today. I'm excited to talk about iScribe MD and what we can offer you guys. Yes, well, I'm glad you're here, and you guys know the drill already with the podcast. We'll get started with number one. So um, can you briefly describe to everyone watching what iScribe is and what a scribe does? Yeah, of course. So. Um, as iScribe MD, we staff scribes in different clinical settings, so in ERs and clinics. And what a medical scribe does is they go along with the provider and they do all of the documentation. So the history, the exam, and they're putting all of that into the medical chart. Um, we provide you guys with all the training, we pay you for the training as well. So it's just a really great experience if you're looking to get into healthcare to kind of get your foot in the door and figure out where to go next. That's amazing. So um, what do you wish more people knew about iScribe? Because I feel like that's just not something that a lot of people have a handle on. Mm -hmm. You know, you just summarized a little bit what do they do, but what what's something else that you wish, gosh, I wish people knew this was such a great opportunity? Yeah, um, that's another great question. It's, I wish more people understood how invaluable an experience it is. Um, it, it's kind of two-pronged. So the first part of it is the networking. So you're not only working with um, physicians and NPs, but multiple different versions of those. You're also communicating with the nursing staff as well. Um, and if you're going into healthcare, you know, having somebody that, you know, in a hospital can be super beneficial to you. The other part of that is the knowledge that you gain. And I always joke, I'm like, ah, oh, I've learned just so much through osmosis, which I do know <laughs> is actually the flow of water from one place to another. Um, but, you know, about the health system, uh, the medicine in general, you know, like I took my term along when I first started um, as, a, as a scribe, and it really helped me just in that one class. Um, and so when you're applying to those programs, med school, nursing school, PA school, it really gives you an edge over the, the other applicants. So if someone applies to be a scribe mm -hmm. with iScribe MD, um, are they the people who, like, would they follow the nurse or the physician assistant or the doctor into the room? Are they taking notes in there while somebody's mm -hmm. talking? Like, what exactly are they doing? Yeah, so um, with iScribe MD, it's an in-person um, position. So you would be working in the emergency room with the provider directly. So when the patient or when the provider goes and sees the patient, the scribe goes with them, they can sometimes they'll write it on a piece of paper and then transcribe it into the computer or they might be typing on, on a laptop. So you know what's so wonderful about this? All my uh, nursing students and students going anywhere in the medical field is when you're a scribe for iScribe, you actually have the opportunity to be in the environment, to listen mm -hmm. to all the language, and to understand how to record, you know, in note fashion, what is happening. You're there when things go right, when things go wrong. You learn so much. But what you were telling me before we start is that, um, you know, there are exceptions like yourself. You've been four years with iScribe, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. there are exceptions, people who make it their career. But in general, you know this is a stepping stone for people. Yeah. So yeah. Like, you know that... Um, like one of our, let's say a student during nursing, doing nursing prereqs or medical school prereqs, they might become a scribe for, you know, one year or two years. Mm -hmm. And then they might have to, you know, step away from that so they can do clinical nursing, um, clinicals in their nursing program, mm -hmm. go mm -hmm. on to be a nurse. And you are like, I scribe is fine with that. They understand you're a stepping stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and it's it's a big part kind of, of of our mission and what we do. We have a lot of resources to help you in that future part. We have, you yeah. know, a scholarship um, that once you're accepted into that program that you can become eligible for. We give out and grace stethoscopes as well. Um, what yes. was that last thing? What do you give out? Engraved stethoscopes. Engraved stethoscopes. Yeah, so oh, on wow. like the 
like the rubbery part. It'll yeah. have scribe and then your name on the other side of it. So no Okay, so it. I'm easily <laughs> impressed. So I want to be a scribe just so I can get an engraved uh, stethoscope yeah, there. So. Yeah. And it's a, I don't remember the specific word, but it's a Lithman. So oh, it's wow. Very okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I think that this point cannot be made enough that so many times I'll be helping a student as the career advisor. Um, they'll need something part time because they're trying to get to the nursing degree, mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. med degree, whatever it is, the vet degree. They're trying to get there, but they need to pay for college, and they do feel a little um, guilt in starting something they know they're not going to finish. Um, especially the Lake Campus area, we have students with such good work ethics and sense of loyalty, and they just feel bad if they already know. Oh gosh, I only need that for a year, and then I'm not. Mm -hmm. So I think it's so wonderful them, for them to hear. You welcome them moving on. Yeah. You give um, them a present when they leave. Yeah. Right? Oh <laughs> we congratulate them. Really, really right. job, guys. You made it through. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and kind of on that note, you know, our schedule is very flexible with it. So um, we can kind of, you know, talk about the, the site specifics, one of which is Joint Township District Memorial Hospital, specifically the ER. It's always such a So mouthful. St. Mary's Joint <laughs> Township, okay, Lake Campus folks, that's you guys. Yes. And you guys really need help there, right? You mm -hmm. really need scribes. Yes. Um, and it's a, a great <coughs> facility. One of our doctors there, Dr. Perkins, um, he loves helping students get into med school, letters of rec, that type of thing. So <coughs> really a, a great resource to have. But yeah, so our scheduling is very flexible. Most of our, our most of our employees are currently students, so we're very adept at looking at your schedule, looking at our needs, and figuring out you know kind of the best pathway for for both of us. <coughs> what a horrible time to have a cough! <coughs> I know I just got over a cold. So well, we're live now. You guys know um, <laughs> real, <laughs> right? This is the real deal. Well. I want to know, do you have a success story that you can share with everybody? Yeah. Um, so we actually recently had a student. She did her undergraduate prereqs here at Wright State Lake Campus. Um, she started right after high school. Um, so she did the scribing alongside her prereqs. She then applied to her nursing program and got in. And she was with us just over a year. I think it was like a year and a month. Um, and very positive things to say, you know, she's like, it really helped me in my future career and, and her application. So I, I, so I have been a part of the nursing application uh, process uh, at the Lake Campus. And I will tell you, it looks really impressive when someone already is in the field because it makes uh, the people who make the determination of who gets in the program. I did not make that determination, um, but it makes those people say, okay, that person is not going to be shocked when X, Y, and Z happens in a medical facility mm -hmm. because they're already there. Mm -hmm. We know, they know what they're getting into. So it goes on the way. Yeah. Um, well, I know we can't keep you too long, but I do want to ask if we have any students who want to apply, what's their next step? Yeah, great question. Um, so you can find our application at www.iscribemd.com. So it's www.iscribemd.com. Um, there's also some other information about us on there as well. And I will also be here the... October 10th, um, 2023 for the job fair. Yes. Yes. Um, and then I also have some tabling events, the 23rd and the 11th, I believe. This so. is all October of 2023. Um, so if you're watching this past October 2023, then those dates don't apply. Yes. But the website still applies, yes. and you can still get a hold of myself, Evelyn Zimfer, Career Advisor at Lake Campus, as well as Emma Morris at yes. iScribe. So, okay, yes. is there any parting words, or are you ready to sign off? Um, I think I'm ready to sign okay. off. Okay. Um, thank you so much for having me. Of course. Me. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for the next employer. Have a great one, everyone.